it's Jess here from lijessa.co.uk, UK Independence Timing Up Demonstrator, bringing you a little Hershey Nugget project. So this is my little prototype that I made out of some retired stuff. I'm not going to put a bow on this one because I didn't have any that fits. And then it just holds a nice little singular wrapped Hershey Nugget in there, which I thought great for just a little thing on top of the... Christmas table or you can put it inside a Christmas cracker if you're going to make your own Christmas crackers this year that would go inside really really nicely um, so don't need very much for it either um, which is uh, pretty good so for the base you need a piece of cardstock this is cherry cobbler two and three eighths by two I will put the metric on my blog but I just can't say them it's just too difficult for me and you need a wrap for the box and this is one and three eighths by three and a quarter and then for the Hershey nugget itself that's one and one by three okay so let's do the box base again really quite simple we are just going to score on all four sides at half an inch For some reason, I find it really difficult to score half an inch. There we go. So that's our little box. I'm just going to check that fits in and I have done it right. This is take two. <laughs> Something so simple, I actually did it wrong the first time. I had actually cut the cardstock the wrong size. Well, actually, what I think I did was I cut it off a strip and I think I put the wrong one away um, as you do so then we just need to notch in these four flaps so we need to get rid of the score I always turn my boxes when they're this little because you don't want the extra bulk all going down one side so I turn them so that they're one on each side and for quickness I shall bring in my fast fuse you can use Tombow you can use tear and tape you can use whatever strong and I say strong adhesive you've got because although it's only going to hold a Hershey nugget you don't want it coming apart if you're going to make this in advance of Christmas you don't want it to have all unraveled by the time Christmas Day comes so you just simply matching them up like so so then we've got our little box there for our little nugget to just sit in there and we just need to do the wrap for our nugget and then that just wraps around there so we just put a little bit of glue along there and in hindsight I might have bought a mixed bag I think there was a mixed bag when I was there because gold would have been nicer on this than the silver but I'm sure nobody's going to complain on Christmas Day at all. And then what I've done with this one is I lined it up so that it was straight on there. And then just got it going round and creasing at the bottom. You can make it a little bit longer if you want to. And then I've got it so that it... It attaches so that it's right on on, on the edge there um, oh, there it is 
So a little bit of fast fuse there just on the edge, not too far down because we want it to slip out. I think I have possibly put a little bit too much glue on there so that the, it will stick to the base. Let me rub some of that off because that's not going to work. I have put too much on. So what I'm going to do, so I don't make that mistake again, is run it on this side. So that it hasn't gone over that crease and then I know we're all right. So although fast fuse, when it sticks two things together and it's pretty much stuck, if you haven't stuck anything to it, you can rub it off. Which is why I quite like it, because that allows for my blundering, which I do do. There we go. So that's nicely done there. It slips slips in and out nicely. So now we just need to decorate the top. So what I'm doing for that is I'm going to do a bit of heat embossing. So I've got a Merry Christmas there. This one was Happy Christmas. I decided to go for Merry Christmas for a change. And this is from A Wish for Everything. So I've just used the Merry there and the Christmas there. So love this set. It was one of the reasons why I bought it. I'm going to use very vanilla because I'm going to put some um, some gold behind it, our gold foil behind it. Um, well, that's what I'm looking for. It's looking over there for that. So I'll just do a little bit of um, using my embossing buddy. And let's uh, put a bit of Versamark. On there, and then my gold powder. There we are. Nicely done that, and then we'll just heat that up and watch the magic happen. So we're going to get a bit noisy. Wait for it to heat up, move that out of the way. Don't want to melt my Hershey. There we go. Super duper. So I've got a little bit of the gold. I've got the one and one eighth, and I've got the one inch. So going to cut a one and one eighth out of this little bit there. So, come in with me one inch on this. Like so, and want a little bit of wiggle time so I'm going to use my Tombow give that a little bit of a hold in place it does tend to twizzle a bit foil until it's actually stuck down and then I'm going to get a bit of a dimensional on the back there and then just stick that on the top like so and that's quite cute um, I have got some retired gold twine actually 
some gold thread from, I don't know how long ago. I'm going to put that on because I think that looked cute with just a little bow. You can do it or you can leave it off if you don't have any. But I think... A little bow to finish it off, make it a little tinier. And it's just what Santa ordered. So we'll get a little little mini glue dot, roll it up. There we go. That is my little favour. Trim them off a little tad. There we go. Hope you like that. All the details will be over on my blog, logesa.co.uk. Should be able to get a direct link coming up there. Please like and subscribe. Please go and explore some more. If you'd like to buy anything, links to my shop there, links to my shop down below. See you again soon. Bye.